What's going on guys? My name is Matt. I'm just a dude. Last year I made a video about how to troubleshoot the ice maker on these Samsung refrigerators. In that video, I went over how to set the ice maker into the forced defrost mode, how to reset the ice maker, and that the ice maker is getting water and it's flowing at the proper rate. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll put the link for that video somewhere up here. But don't go away just yet. If you're like me, once you get that ice maker working, it'll only work for a little while and it'll ice up and then you have to do the whole thing over again. Once that video was posted, there was a lot of people in the comments that said they called 1-800-SAMSUNG and Samsung came out and they paid for the parts and the labor to get that ice maker working right again. It took me a little while to do it, but this video is about that call to 1-800-SAMSUNG. In this video, I'm gonna go over what they said during that call, what they wanted me to do, and what I told them for them to warranty this refrigerator my wife and I bought in 2015. So don't go anywhere, because we're getting started right now. The first thing you have to do is get a phone and dial 1-800-SAMSUNG. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take you to Samsung's automated message system. And then you're gonna hit one for English or whatever language you speak, and you're gonna to get to a point where the computer says, talk to me like a normal person, what, did it, what is it that you're looking for or something like that. I said, Samsung refrigerator, icebox. And then they connected me with the service department. Now, of course, everything was overloaded. Wait times were longer than usual. And so I just pressed one and it held my place in line and I confirmed my phone number and it called me back. So the callback came in about nine to 10 minutes. And then I was talking with a Samsung service representative. The first thing he wanted to know was who he was talking to and then the model number on the refrigerator. The model number is located in the top section of the refrigerator, down the left-hand side. So you just open up this door right here, that door right here, the left one, and then you look down there and it's right there. I read the model numbered him and then we proceeded. Then he wanted to know if I did any troubleshooting to try and figure out the problem on my own. And I told him, yeah, I did. I looked at the Samsung website and I went through the troubleshooting process on that. I put in the force defrost mode. I checked to make sure that was in the proper temperature. I checked it for water. Once I told him what I did, he wanted to try and troubleshoot it himself. So he sent me, he texted me this link and I had to agree to it. And it opened up the camera in my phone for him to look through it. So on the phone, he told me what he wanted to look at. He wanted to look inside the ice box. So I took the ice box out and I let him look in there. And he said, oh yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of ice in there, it's froze up. And then he wanted to look at the serial number that is right above the model number plate inside the refrigerator and he wanted me to get close enough to where he could take a snapshot of that and, and probably scan it from his computer to see when it was sold. He asked me where I bought the refrigerator at. I told him Lowe's and then he wanted to make sure that there's water coming out of the water dispenser in the front of the refrigerator. So make sure you have a cup or something handy because they're going to want to look at that. Now once that was done he told me that this refrigerator is not under warranty and I told him that I was aware of the class action lawsuit with the Samsung Ice Master Ice Maker, and also that I've heard a lot of other people that have been getting these refrigerators warrantied, both parts and labor. And he told me that he was not aware of that and he'd have to check with his supervisor. So I said, okay, do, do what you got to do, kind of. Um, so then he basically came back and said, we're gonna cover the parts and the labor on this refrigerator. These refrigerators are the Ford 60 power stroke of refrigerators. It's probably a ton of money they're sending out trying to get these things fixed. Are they fixing them? Yeah, they are. But they're also going to try and not fix the ones that people don't know what to say or how to navigate that phone call. Right now I have an appointment with a local service representative that's a contractor from Samsung and Samsung sent me an email which has a service number on it which I tell this contractor, and then that's supposed to cover the parts and the labor to fix this refrigerator. This video is just about the call. If you want me to do a video about when they come and actually fix it and what happens afterwards, if you guys want to see that, just drop a comment below. And if there's enough people that drop a comment, then I'll make another video on the endeavor, I guess. If this video helped you out, if you can like and subscribe, it would definitely help out the channel. Like I said before, my name is Matt. I'm just a dude. And uh, if I can't fix it, I'll fix it so no one else can. Thanks for watching.